Nice. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. Oh yeah. That's a good one right there. But this that's good. Man, this is a good, good top three, man. This. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, it was a good week for comics, man. Really good week. I usually have a hard time picking my top three because uh, I usually enjoy a lot of stuff that I get each week. Um, but I feel like this is a solid week for my top three. So let's check out my top three. And coming in at number three is, well, none other than Deadpool, issue number three. This book had a lot going on in it, man. This book had a lot of good stuff going on in it. I mean, you see that budding romance between Deadpool and Valentine, Valentine, whatever you wanna say. But that, and then you got a lot of heads coming for Deadpool now too. Because Lady Deathstrike, you know, if you remember in the first issue, her her and Deadpool, they were trying to, you know, become part of the Altier. I never pronounced that correctly, but Altier. And uh, yeah, now they're now she's coming for him. You got the Harrower and Doc Ock. They're teaming up now to come up come come for Deadpool also. I mean, come on. But then you got this Carnage like symbiote that's growing inside here, that's been growing inside of Deadpool. Uh, they're becoming like best friends now or something? Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm waiting for that plot twist because uh, I feel like this love affair with uh, the with, that Deadpool's having with the symbiote, because the symbiote, he's, he's, starting to, he's starting to grow. He's starting to come out more. I mean, as you can see, you got extra arms here and stuff. Now they do make a great team. But like I said, Harrower, she, it, it was her that put him in, or put the symbiote inside of Deadpool. So she's coming for Deadpool because she wants the symbiote. So this is going to, I'm, I'm just waiting for that plot twist with the symbiote. Really, they're not going to be buddy-buddy for long. I just have that, that's my gut feeling. So, but who knows? We'll see. But man, this this has been a fun, fun book. Through three issues, I, I was on the fence with Alyssa Wong being the writer for this book before this before the first issue came out. But man, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I am pleasantly surprised, very pleasantly surprised through three issues uh, with what she has done. And then you know you got Greg Capullo with the artwork it was is a little different. And it's probably not entirely my taste, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy the artwork in here. It's good. Um, I kind of wish the artwork was a little bit closer to this on the cover, but hey, look, I'll take it, man. Because, I mean, I've definitely seen worse, you know. So, just a little taste. But yeah, so Deadpool, issue number three, is my... Number three book of the week. So coming in at number two is The Flash, issue 791, and The One Minute War, part two. So issue one was absolutely amazing. It did a lot of setting things up. And now with this issue number, you know, part two uh, of The One Minute War, this is really starting to move things along now. Um, you got the this alien group called the Fraction that have come to Earth. They're looking to take Earth because what they do is they go to they go from different planets and they literally take over planets and demolish them and leave within minutes. So once they came to Earth, everything like time froze basically for the normal for everybody in the world, with the exception of the Flash family. <sighs> Don't really know why yet. I mean, there's going to be some science behind it, I'm sure, but so the battle starts in this book and they figure out the Flash family, the Flash, the kid, kid Flashes, they figure out that, you know what, 
these aliens, they move pretty much the same speed as the Flash family. Every, you know, all the Flashes. So it's like, all right, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting because nobody is faster, has ever been faster, to my knowledge, than the Flash, any, any of the Flashes. So yeah, man. So things are really starting to progress. And uh, Miss Murder Mayhem. I'll be honest, I don't know if this was worth a cover appearance because, spoiler alert, I'm gonna, a small spoiler, uh, but she don't really make an appearance in this book until the very end, so, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good, man, and, and, I, and I'm enjoying the artwork in here too. This is more my style kind of, you know, artwork. A little bit cartoonish, sort of, but still very detailed and and whatnot, you know. So this is the, this is the kind of artwork that I really enjoy. So, yeah. The Flash issue seven ninety one, part two of the One Minute War. It's my number two book of the week. Now, my number one book of the week. Punisher number nine. I mean, <laughs> this this book, <laughs> man, this book is nonstop amazing, right? This this book right here, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to not you know give spoilers, um, but basically, this book kind of picks up sort of where the last issue left off of because you see you know Ares and the God of War they're marching towards. Uh, you know, the Fist's castle or, you know, whatnot. Um, yeah, they're, they're battling in this one, man. They're, they're, they're full-fledged war. And, you know, Frank Castle and, and Ares, the God of War, they're, they're really going at it in this one. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. And also, you know, this whole run, there's been flashback scenes, you know, talking about Frank Castle and his past and things that's going on and whatnot. Now, in this issue, though, um, Maria, his wife, Frank's wife, is kind of commentating a little bit and uh, or narrating. And uh, things kind of go back. The, the, the flashbacks kind of go back towards earlier issues of this run and uh, kind of puts things together a little bit more. And uh, it's it's really cool, man. It's 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 really cool. Um, now, oh, yeah, the end of this book, you see some appearances that uh, I was surprised by. I was surprised by. So, well, actually, one appearance that alludes to. I mean, you know who it is at the very beginning. You know man it's just awesome the end of the book there's a couple of appearances that are just like kind of really surprising so anyway with that being said this is heading toward you know daredevil and punisher they're 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 on this road this this collision course it's, it's going to happen man and uh now this issue right here issue number nine uh is the king of killers book two but it's chapter three so that next Punisher book, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out as far as with the Daredevil thing going on because, hey, spoiler, small, small spoiler, not a major spoiler, but Daredevil also makes a little appearance in this book as well. So we all know, we all know, if you're reading Daredevil and Punisher, we all know that the, 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 that the collision course is going to happen. But anyway, between Maria and what she's talking about in this book with the flashbacks and what happens at the end after the battle with Ares and stuff, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't get over myself with this book, man. It's, it's, it's maybe, maybe my favorite issue of this run so far. We'll see. But yeah. God, I can't say enough good things about this, but Punisher, issue number nine, 
It's my number one book of the week. All right, guys. So there you have it. Those are my top three books of this week. Please, please let me know what you think of my top three in the comments. Just let me know, man. And uh, what were your top three books of the week? Because I'm always curious to know what other people's tastes are and things like that. So I like, you know, I like the, the interaction and whatnot. So yeah, by all means, let me know what you think. And also, the description below uh, is a link to my Facebook page, my Instagram, all that good stuff. So, you know, check that out as well. So give me a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, catch you guys on the flip side.